Here is a lung. Here is a major fissure between two lobes. Here is a very distinct uh, lesion within one of the lobes. Notice it's well defined. Notice it appears to have a semi-liquefied and semi-necrotic appearing cut surface. But notice especially that the lung around it appears to look more like liver. It has the appearance of being more edematous and uh, consolidated is the word rather than air filled. You could appreciate that here and here and here, which you would expect that if you were to squeeze it with your hand, you wouldn't find many air bubbles. So it is less crepitant than normal or it would be what pathologists call consolidated. Let's look at it microscopically. And uh, we could see, maybe, that here's some uh, area of lung out here. But the lung does not look uh, terribly normal. It looks like there's a lot of cells and fluid edema, maybe blood filling up these alveoli. But at least we could recognize them as being alveoli. What we could recognize uh, as this big, thick, fibrous area is the wall of the cyst or that big thing that we saw uh, in the gross picture. What we could recognize down here is that perhaps you could see some outlines of alveoli still but for the most part you have this entire area filled up with neutrophils which uh, by definition is an abscess. So these are all neutrophils and fibrin this is the abscess. Here is the wall of the abscess. And out here are, is some remnant, uh, very, very congested, e possibly edematous lung. This is from a bronchopneumonia. Bronchopneumonias are called bronchopneumonias because they generally start out in the bronchi. Low bar pneumonias can generally start in the alveoli and involve a whole lobe of the lung perhaps but the bronchopneumonias start out in the bronchi and bronchioles and eventually they spread to the lung and uh, any type of uh, pneumonia if with severe enough can cause a well-defined pus pocket called an abscess and that's exactly what we're dealing with here we're dealing with a bronchopneumonia that has been severe enough to cause uh, an abscess and uh, if you want to know what organisms could be inside that abscess, uh, get out a nice microbiology book because any organism can and at one time or another has been reported to infect the lung. Or if you want a nice list of the hospital acquired or a community hire acquired pneumonias, bacterial and viral, you could make a nice little list there as well. What, uh, it, is meant to be demonstrated here is the fact that any type of pneumonia, no matter what's causing it, can cause an abscess, which will have perhaps a nice wall and perhaps a lot of pus on the inside of it. And I thank you very much.